I went to the, f I, the same Miami Melee tournament in 07 that I almost got into a car accident heading to one time. That's rough. And you outplaced me. I do that. I was really good back then. You were, you I were, was good for a long time. You were nasty at melee, dude. I think you still are. Probably the meta's a bit outside of my, you know, realm nowadays. But we are going to be talking Palu versus Sephiroth. I cannot say I have literally ever seen this matchup. Uh, that's a lie. I can't think of when I've ever seen this. <laughs> Wait, really? I don't. I don't know if I have. Uh, I don't watch every single tournament. That's I true. Before, I think I, maybe I've seen it online before, but uh, oh, I'm sure it like comes casting your tournament. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I feel like in this matchup, I would assume that Palu does pretty well because Palu just does well versus tall characters because Nair becomes a lot more effective and Hwampy, of course, one of like actually the low key strongest Palus. Oh uh, yeah. Like, when he's playing really well, he's ridiculous. Best in the state, right? Uh, in the state, yeah, for sure. But yeah, best Palu in Florida is Hwampy. Now I, I think the second would be Misericon. and their roommates. And oh Davis, yeah, yeah. So. There you go. <laughs> Works out. Now I noticed too, of course, because Sephiroth's so light. Palu's back here or up there. Yeah. I mean, it's gonna kill Sephiroth. I think mean, below a hundred. Yeah. Like actually. Like it's so weird to like see a character as big as Sephiroth and have all those moves. I'm like, that's the same weight as my character. <laughs> same weight as Kirby. Yeah, exactly. You want to tell the chat something? Yeah. All right. They can hear you. It's time for some motherfucking push-ups. Oh. <laughs> he looks about right, to be honest. Oh. I feel like he could rip me in half. No, instead. I agree. Loki scared beating him. Damn, I respect it. I respect it. I'm not drinking any water right now. It's true. And Wampy exercising uh, that great kill power of Palu with the drag down up air, having great edge guards, and now this combo going to be giving quite the lead, but the down air reversal. Oh my! There's. Oh uh, no! Go, go for it. That was a fantastic up air. Yeah, yeah, it was. I mean, both characters can really abide to the width of their up airs, if you, especially if you, like, hit the sweet spot. Yeah. And right, and, of course, the mid-range for Sephiroth is where you want to be, and he landed it perfectly. Mm -hmm. And Wampy playing a little bit more of a passive game, which I kind of like, because, like, if you approach Sephiroth, it's a little hard, but if you make Sephiroth approach you and then play that weird burst range game, it becomes a lot more difficult for him. Uh, and Palu, of course, really fast, has a great dash attack, so it can work out, but the nice Nair by Bomp or sorry, by Beast Mode Paul. Opening Nair, edge guard attempt here. Not trying to go to down switch out there. And I think uh, Paul is getting a little bit greedy with uh, the Octo Slashes. Kwampi's reaction time is a bit too good for that. I feel like Sephiroth's Octo Slash is best when it's like at a weird. End. He's doing push ups. Oh, he's, oh he's, he's been doing push ups for like a whole minute, I think. I don't know if Caster wants to put the camera over. <laughs> hey, the uh, are happening. hey, streamer. You want to. Oh, he can't see me. Damn okay. it. The push-ups are happening. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Tell him to switch the camera. <laughs> Goku has been doing yeah. push-ups for probably uh, about a minute. Yeah, he has. He has not stopped. While that's happening, I'll how many is that? How, I don't, it's been happening a lot. That's got to be like 200. It's a lot. How come every time I come into the tournament, some weird shit happens? Like I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> the game happens. And basically... <laughs> Basically nothing changed, which is fine. All right. Oh, beautiful parry on that there, upper. There we go. Holy shit, he's still going. He's still going? That's like 100? I think I'd be dead. My pecs would have exploded. My His ribs would be arms broken. are beat red. Makes sense. Oh my god. And both of these opponents, sorry, both of these uh, <laughs> characters, their percentages in red, gonna get very early kills for both of them. Nice nair back throw, edge cancel, not gonna be enough. 51. And okay. that up air, again, I feel like the up air is going to be so important for both characters. Sephiroth's up air is like good, but also bad. It's, <laughs> it's such a weird move. That was crazy. Okay. Good up B again. It's at 137. I think, oh, yeah, yeah, back here from center to the of kill. Of course, yeah. Free. Paul, uh, no sign of hero so far, at least in this top eight. Yeah, he's only, I think, gone. I haven't, I've only seen him play Sephiroth all day. Yeah. Uh, except for, I think he played it against uh, I forget his name. It was a CFL PR Diddy player. I forget. Aaron? No, not Aaron. Not Kiki. It's oh, I'm, oh, I'm so bad. Fudge. Yeah, I. Nice sensor. Oh, uh, I know exactly what you're talking about, yeah. and I can't remember his name. Um, Dino? Wait, no. Something like that. Anyway, It'll come back. Swampy, kind of establishing control here, not letting Sephiroth's slow aerials be. Uh, important here because of course that's like the flaw of Sephiroth is all his aerials are so slow because if they weren't he would be the best character in the game. 
Wing up, though, and that's going to increase the mobility of Paul by a lot. Also, the kill potential and also, of course, armor on the smash attacks. We could see a down smash shield pop pretty soon. I hate that move. Sephiroth down smash? <laughs> infuriating. It is. Oh, oh my god. As a puff, it's, it breaks my shield at zero. Oh god, yeah. Oh! Beautiful forward air punish. Gave him the vaccine on the far left side. All the, the way. <laughs> Gave him the jab. <laughs> Man, I wasn't I'm, ready. I'm liking the, the Beast Mode Pulse Space. Like, he's Sage of his hero in it, too, because Hero's, you know, back here has that build up, so he has to, like, yeah, pre space yeah, yeah. for it, he's too. He's used to it. He's yep. used to the slow startups of all of his moves, which I think is why it's a good pick. I feel like the range of sorties versus how long it takes them to come out, either it's Mithra all the way to. Sephiroth. Is it Sephiroth or Byleth? I think Sephiroth overall is slower. You think so? Yeah. Because, like, I think Nair for Sephiroth's frame, like, 7, forward air and back air frame, like, and in 12. I think Sephiroth's back air is frame like 18. And there's Ike too. Oh, true, true, true. But Ike's back air is fast. Yeah, it's just his nair that's a little slow. Nair yeah. and up air a little slow. But hey, who cares when they're minus like four? That's true. So, Whompy, I didn't see where he counterpicked, unfortunately. Is he going Brawler? No, staying Palu. I guess doesn't want to go Brawler. I like the Brawler Sephiroth matchup. So I'm a little. I'm a little surprised to see, especially with a good brawler stage like. Oh, uh, Wampy secondary is brawler. Yeah. Yo, is that a Metroid tattoo? It is. That's it. Show the chapter words. That's just so cool. It's cool. Like, I'm a big fan. I got it uh, as Panda was exploding. Yep. So I was just like, this will be cathartic. Okay, he gets the Octo Slash on stage. I don't know what's happening in friendlies, but people are allowed. The CFL has always been loud. CFL never changes. Was CFL loud in melee? I don't remember. <laughs> yeah. Well. <laughs> not this loud. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no. The Smash 4 Ultimate <laughs> CFL is a lot more degenerate. Oh, it tries to get the drag down with the Nair up tilt because I since, know that's in Sephiroth's yeah. Brawl. You know how, like, Smash 4 was the true sequel of Brawl, and this is the true sequel of Smash 4? Yeah. Like, Brawl, this are true sequels of each other. Uh, since the Brawl days, CFL's yeah, like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, as seen as all the people, there's not, like, almost a single person here that's the same apart from me and you. True. I think we're the only two brawler heads remaining here. Let me see. I would assume so. Maybe Kiki? I don't think Kiki played Brawl. King will riot. He did? Oh, okay. Oh, I Okay, see. so there's only only a few of us here, though, about four or five of us. Oh. Beastmo Paul with the lead and getting some extra damage. Not wing, though. Yep. The passion remains, oh. though. CFL, baby. Let's actually, see. gave Wompy the neutral get up, but wasn't actually, like, uh, Wompy was like, you're not actually going to do the option that I'm looking for because I did it too early. Like, I presented the what I wanted too early. Didn't work. Exactly. And Paul just poking away with his lead, just trying not to get hit. Sometimes the game plan isn't to hit your opponent, it's to just not get hit, but he gets hit. Because dash tag is really good. It does do that, slams him all the way back. Oh, I like that stalling. All right, has a Giga Flare. That sucks. You know, it does, unless your your opponent has a long recovery. Yeah. And then it's a very good ledge trap. But only then. Double dash attack. I like there. Wow, no double clean. jump. I think. Oh, Ooh, uh, he's I dead. Think dead. Is he dead? That with the second, runoff. That second auto radical, radical. was wow. Like. I've never seen it used that way. I have also never seen it used that way. Surprisingly. All right, that was hot. That was amazing by Huanfi getting a really early stock on the susceptible Sephiroth. Up smash, not going to be the sweet spot, so not going to get the kill. And now Huanfi has the lead and is able to up. Oh, I lied. I was going to say establish his lead, but again, the down smash. I hate that move. Yeah, I just love the creativity, man. Getting in there. 75%. This is starting to get scary for uh, Paul, but I was about to say he is about to get wing. The air mobility buff from wing actually allowing these one Paul to avoid that back air, but still cornered back throw. Not going to kill, but getting very close. Back throw. He might be able to put a little flame out here. Not he, he's he's, he's oh, not using well, too many uh, uh, dense, um, what's it called? Sorry. Flame. Explosive flame. Thank you. Move kind of sucks. But like, it's, it it'll sucks. kill. It'll kill him right here. That's true. Here it comes. Still? I think if uh, Sephiroth is ready, they can especially just look, double jump and then up into you and get the free like 30 whatever percent it is. Nice back here. One more will do it. But again, wing Sephiroth is a bit terrifying. And also very hard to ledge trap. And there I you lied, go. apparently. Wow. <laughs> I swear to God, I commentators curse like every stock that game. The set is going the full distance here. Oh, for the chat, this is—it's so hard to show oh, a yeah, tattoo show, on that uh, part. There, me. Woo! Look at that tattoo. It's a dope ass tattoo. Damn. When did you get that? Uh, I'm the worst. It was a kid yokai. I forget—I forget the store. It was around here. Oh, okay. Bombi taking a deep breath. 
We're gonna have Palutena Sephiroth for the third time. I mean, Hero Sephiroth seems, sorry, Hero versus Palutena seems awful. So I agree with the Sephiroth pick entirely. It's a good pick. And this is my favorite neutral in the whole game. You like I, the stage? I love Bastion. It's really good. It's like a more balanced Smashville. Yeah, lower platform too. I haven't played on it that much because I happened to like go to the majors that didn't have this legal for like since it's been out. So I've like I've only played like one major with it legal, so I don't practice it actively. But it's an amazing stage. I love it. Yep. Yes, it is. Hey, did you win? No, Diddy Kong. So true. Diddy Kong definitely cringe. I love playing that character. Broken. Eh. Banana throw forwarder. So true, actually. <laughs> Insane. I love that matchup, so I never care. Down throw from Paul. Someone was pointing out, what is, what is the best character that it's been in, in at least three Smash games? Pika. It's either Pika or, or Diddy Kong. Diddy is a good choice. Diddy's crazy. I think Diddy's a lot worse than both Pika and Fox in this game, so I think that's what bumps him down. Yeah. Because, like, the worst Pika iteration is Melee, and Axe has won a major. <laughs> like, that's true. Pika has won a major in every game, hasn't he? Uh, I didn't win a major in Smash 4, unfortunately. Oh, okay. Did I not? No, I didn't. I, I didn't win in Smash 4. I got second a lot, but I did not But win. Civil War, the pop-off. I didn't even... I, that was for, like, 33rd. Thir like, I got, like, 17. But that's what everyone remembers. Of course. That's why Mango was pissed when I won best pop-off. He was like, this motherfucker, like, popped off for 17th. I won the tournament. That's true. Which is very funny. Oh. Get, get good. I really feel like a lot of this matchup is determined by who has the lead because whoever's able to get this extra credit has been putting in mad work after Whoa! Oh, oh my god! Oh! Juan yeah. Pete read every single micro input in the air that Beast Mode Paul put out. That was just. That's, I'm pretty sure that's the set. Yeah, probably. I mean, what could Paul have done there? He was trying to match his fast aerial, the fastball air dodge, and if he slow fell air dodge, he just would have got hit by up air anyway, so I don't blame if he down air there. That'd have been crazy. Yeah, it would. Like, I don't blame uh, Paul for doing what he did. Maybe he should have directional air dodge, but then he just would have got back aired, which I guess wouldn't have killed him, but I don't think he expected the up airs to kill. Yeah. And already 67% on Paul. This is ridiculous. 75. Wing has already popped in this stock, and finally, yep. Beast Mode Paul stops the bleeding just a little bit. Down throw. Nothing. Oh, tried to be the double jump. See, and this is kind of what I expected from this matchup. It's just like, yeah, like when Palu has control, she has control. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yes, yes. Like, I think she loses control against, like, a decent amount of matchups. But if it's not one of those, she is a broken character. Yeah, grab there would have been game. Yeah, absolutely. Hello. Okay. Down to maybe? No? And that's going to be oh. game, I'm pretty sure. Uh, okay. I thought it was, no, he's live on that light. Yeah. Okay. Octo Slash getting a little greedy. We can hear the crowd now for some reason. Oh, the Nair oh. up tilt. That's the disadvantage of being tall. Steve, Sephiroth, all the big characters will absolutely get hit by Nair drag down and top tilt. Not even the Nair pop up up tilt, but the yep. drag down, that's the broken shit. It's very true. I think, uh, are you up now? Yes, I gotta play right. uh, Diddy Kong. I don't remember their title. All right, good luck, man. Thank you. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot to a slide real quick. We have a regional coming up. It's pretty huge. We have a $1,000 pop bonus. It is Cirque du CFL, or just Cirque for short. 